Hi, welcome to Bontanamo Rants. Um, hmm, what am I going to start a rant off with today? Well, in uh, Bontanamo Rant style, with kind of like the family guy, what grinds my gears, Peter Griffin jobby, uh, I'm going to start with, uh, well, it's, it's kind of related to mouth breathers, I would say. Mouth breathers. I brought this up recently in another video, and, you know, the people that just sort of sit there going... <laughs> Or breathe with their mouth open right behind you, and then combine that with personal space. Genius. People that ignore personal space, it gets really bad. So it's kind of related, but absolutely disgusting. Next level horrible. Got a rant about it. People that cough in public, or on public transport specifically, without covering their mouth. I don't know what it is, right? And I, I'm, there's, there's no assumption of where whoever's doing the coughing is from it could be man, woman uh, from anywhere but you, I seem to come across these people travelling to and from work that just cough, they just arch their head back open their mouth and just splutter it is rank absolutely rank and then you get the people that sneeze without covering their nose splutter everywhere spittle everywhere, then cough and then they just sort of look at you and like <coughs> With a sort of like, why are you looking at me sort of face? Well, I'm looking at you because you're bloody disgusting. That's why I'm looking at you. That is why I'm looking at you. And that's why I'm looking at you with a face that says, your rank, sort it out. Oh, good. It's always good to get a rant. It's always good to get a rant out at the beginning of a video. Sort of leave the stress a little bit. And the, the, the beginning of the video, let's talk about the beginning of the video, because this ain't Black Ops 3, this ain't Black Ops 4 footage, and this ain't Call of Duty World War 2 footage. It sure as shit ain't Infinite Warfare, that's for sure. No, as you can see, if you haven't seen this game, don't know where you've been in the uh, in the COD franchise all these years, but you, for everyone else, you know what game I'm playing. I'm playing Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I bought this a while ago, cheap, I think. So. 15 bucks or something in one of the shops near where I live, and I thought I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll have a bit of a laugh. I thought, why not load it up today? I mean, at the end of the day, let's go all the way back to the last boots on ground and see what it was actually like. And I gotta say, I, I, I should be ranting a bit more, but I'm pleasantly surprised. There are, there are a few things in here that I, I think <laughs> I've got a highlight which I've completely forgotten about. Um, so, I'm going to start with the question of how well has this game survived since it was out, and uh, yeah, yeah, pretty well, pretty well, I've got to say, I mean, generally speaking, I, I was really surprised, I, I, I didn't play it that long ago, um, but it's been a while, it's been a while, I mean, certainly, maybe I played it mid-Infinite Warfare, Modern, Modern Warfare Remastered, some, some time around then. I think I'm not going to go into the menu system, the, the the choosing your perks and everything. It's, we don't we we don't need a review of all of that. That that's been done. It's been said. Don't want to talk about that. I just want to kind of look at it from a nostalgic point of view, from a game that's not been tampered with. It's not been remastered. That, that no one's tried to polish it. No one's tried to, well, not completely copy it or anything. So, I think it's doing fairly well for an old game. Um, it took, didn't take me long to find a lobby. Uh, I, I did get in a couple. Uh, this is like my third match. The second lobby I got into, I fired three shots and then I lost connection to the server. And then everything went crazy. Black screen, all sorts of shenanigans. So I wasn't too impressed with that. But, you know, two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three. And the first game I had, super stable. Uh, there were a couple of people lagging. I, I think guys I'm playing against, possibly I am... I've got a better connection, so I've, I'm probably benefit from the lag a little bit here. Um, yeah, what else? I, I think the speed of the gameplay is still pretty cool. I mean, it's not super fast. I, I, the, the the mechanics of the movement of the character, I, I actually, dare I say it, call me out. Now, please do call me out in the comments if uh, you disagree with this, but I, I think the speed of the gameplay is actually quicker on Call of Duty World War Two. I know, I know, but it really felt like it was. I think the character movement overall feels a little bit better in this game, but I think the general speed of Call of Duty World War 2 
at least on the maps that we have available right now on the on the core maps that they release not the DLC maps the core maps uh, is quicker I mean I'm playing one of the biggest maps here at the moment but I just felt everything was a bit lethargic um, aim down sight without quick draw is horrendous on this game absolutely horrendous um, I, I completely forgotten about the knee slide if you haven't played this instead of like Call of Duty World War 2 dolphin dive style you have a knee slide which you're gonna have a similar sort of thing in, in Black Ops 4 albeit probably quite a bit more advanced than the knee slide in this but that being said it, it still had a good feel overall to the general speed of the game I think the, the character in ADS is the thing that I was having problem adjusting to maybe um, now for the negatives the negatives are quite funny uh, cast your minds back to the beginning of Call of Duty World War 2 back when we had the uh, basic training called Primed right? you all remember Primed reduces flinch um, the extra attachment slot that's not relevant but reduces flinch right flinch on this game is like being kicked in the nuts and then slapped in the face with a cold wet fish right there's nothing you cannot concentrate on anything after that happens other than ow right every time i got hit if there was just one bullet that hit me i'd be done so i'd forgotten it feels like this i'd, I'd I don't actually remember it being that extreme, but to me, in these couple of games, this really felt like, oh, how can I put it? This like it really is like who shoots first wins. Uh, of course, connection plays a part as always. We talk about lag all the time. The lag is real, it really is, right? And also, your shots got to be on point. But if those things are you know your shots on point you you're not lagging terribly connection is reasonable or whatever however you want to phrase it if you shoot first you win in this so far that that's how i felt in this game um, I mean, my shot just then was not on point <laughs> it really wasn't on point so yeah flinch flinch i i can't put it any better than being kicked in the nuts and slapped in the face with a cold wet fish full stop right moving on ranty bad point number two for this game I think it's probably because it's old um, and when I originally played this I was actually playing on Xbox 360 I believe so you know maybe the, the gra graphics do look a bit tired but that's to be expected in an old game but what I, I, I'm, I was experiencing is frame drop every now and again when I was uh, ADSing or, or even just sidestepping occasionally when I'd run through a part of the map on a sprint it just seemed to sort of glitch out on me a little bit, which is a shame. Again, it's it's not like I'm saying any of this expecting some one to think, oh yeah, we'll fix this, the devs will get involved or whatever. Nonsense. No, no, it's just a, just an observation. And for an old game, it's, that's pretty good. And it, it only happened occasionally. And I felt, you know, it, it was it was manageable. Now I'm going to switch back to the good points. The good points of the ramp because the guns man the guns kick ass compared to what we've been having to play with for a while this is the last modern-ish shooter uh, in the Call of Duty franchise we had um, and with all the, the speculation and talk and hype about the original devs coming back to Infinity Ward and we're gonna have Modern Warfare 4 I, I, honestly I cannot believe that we're talking about Modern Warfare 4 not long after Black Ops 4 was announced, and we're talking about it for 2019. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm honestly, I'm just happy there's a game like Ghost still sitting there, still with people playing it, that you can have fun with. I'm going to wrap it up there. I think that's a nice mix of good and bad for what this is like in 2018. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It'd be much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button, check out some more videos, and I'll talk to you soon.